What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be moving the driver's door panel on a Ford F-250. This is a 2012 here, but it will be the same on a few different years. This will also be the same on a few of the other Super Duties, F-250, 350, uh, and so on. So what we're going to need to do this is a 7mm socket, and then I'm going to use a trim tool. If you don't have one of these handy, you can use a screwdriver, but a trim tool is probably better. So once we have those two things, let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing we need to do is remove a few pieces of trim. So there's going to be one here, and you may be able to just grab this with your hand and remove it. If not, you can use your trim tool or screwdriver to help get it loose. But that'll come off there like that. Then we need to remove this piece and unplug it. So if you get a corner started, and you kind of just work around it with your fingers. There's two connectors here we need to remove. So we'll press that tab, and that'll unplug like that. Press this tab, and that'll unplug. Now we need to remove this piece, and again, you may be able to just do this by hand. If not, you can use your trim tool screwdriver to help get it started. And there's two more connectors, one here, and one right here. Press that tab and unplug. And the final small piece of trim we need to remove is this piece right here. And once we get that off, there's four bolts that we need to remove, and that's going to be those seven millimeter screws. So there's two here, and then there's one up under here, and there's one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those four bolts, and I'll check back in in the next shot. Okay, so we just finished taking those four seven millimeter bolts out we looked at in the previous shot. And once you get those out, this door panel is ready to come off. What you want to do is grab a hold of it, and we're kind of just going to go straight up with it, like that. And you can see these hooks that hold them on, kind of why you have to go straight up. And those are all the way around here. So to put it back on, we're going to reverse everything we just did. There's just a few things that we need to keep in mind here. Um, we need to make sure that this, these wires are fed through so that after we get it back on, we can hook all that stuff back up. Go ahead and feed those through. And you kind of need to go in at an angle to where you're a little bit up. These clips are a little bit above the hole so that we're going to be able to go down on there. And the final thing you got to keep an eye on is the door lock actuator. Kind of line that up so it goes through in that hole. Make sure your wires are pulled where they need to be. And that's snug down and a good way to check to make sure you have all your clips where you need to be is to make sure that this is all um, pushed tight against here you don't have any parts that are poking out just reach around and there is actually one on the bottom i missed here so i'm gonna lift it up feel around again make sure that that's all flush all right, that's all good and tight. Now we can go ahead and put these, uh, these connectors back on. So these will just clip right on. And then this will snap into place. With this connector, uh, one thing I've noticed is the clips that hold it on tend to bend. See, this is how it should be, and this is how it looks. So before you put it back on, what you're going to want to do is just bend it down. It doesn't have to be perfect, but get it more of a similar fashion like this to make sure it goes in. Just bend that in. And then we'll connect, connect those two connectors back on. And snap this into place. Snap this piece back on. And then um, we have one more piece here, but we have to put those four bolts in. I'm not going to show you that just to save time, but 
put your four bolts in, two here, two down here, and then you'll snap this little piece back on. And that's it, pretty simple. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.